This is the Erasmus Plus project. It was funded last year and uh, the Romania is our coordinator. I am one of the partners in this project. Uh, I am the European project coordinator of school, Doha Schools. It's a chain of school in Turkey. It has 84 campuses in Turkey, in Dubai, Cyprus, Canada, and we have more than 100, um, 120,000 students. And we have 40,000 uh, teachers in Turkey and the countries. And today I'm going to present this project. Uh, actually, we are running the project about um, seven projects. And these are the centralized projects, and most of them are about the science education. And this project is just for the health education, and that we really um, give importance to this project as Doğa Sukuz, because Doğa means nature in Turkish. Doğa means nature and learning in nature, our motto. So the school has been founded 12 years ago and we have the mission to teach learning by doing and the project is connected with our philosophy. And the project today I'm going to present the, our objectives, the project objectives, our target groups and uh, project activities and outputs training implementation process and samples from Turkey. Our, the project objectives are to restore the place of the life sciences. Mostly it's based on uh, oriented nutrition, food safety education in the culture of the young people and to encourage their appetite for career in science and in entrepreneurship and to develop networks between various sectors from the scientific, scientific world, universities, schools, research institutes and laboratories associations. And here are the partners, Valahia University of Targovishta is the coordinator. We have the partner from Croatia, University of Zagreb, Kauna Collegia from Lithuania and uh, Lesbos University, University of Aegean, Lesbos University from Greece, and Hihon is the secondary school from Spain, and Doha schools, we are from Turkey. And our focus groups, mainly we focus on the teachers and the students in pre-primary, primary and secondary level of education. And also four partners are from universities, so higher education students, uh, were involved in this project, but these students should be in close collaboration with secondary school education and also stakeholders from food industry, from institutions involved in the quality control of food products and also the parents are our, are our stakeholders. And what are the project activities? First, we started with the critical analysis and the research uh, to create our project to um, prepare our pr uh, project outputs and designing of the training modules and training process. We have in, um, newly initiated our training modules. The, our education materials have been created and this month we are going to start it. Classroom implementations, uh, just we have in the first year and we will start our classroom implementations after the training modules and impact analysis to understand and to get results, the impact of the project on students, teachers, uh, the students from higher education and designing and implementing the good practices, gu guidelines. I hope at the end of the three of the year we will create our guidelines. And the main project outputs are uh, connected with our project activities. They are the same critical analysis of curricula, teacher training materials, virtual experiments. And in our virtual experiments and platform, there will be video tutorials, 10 module intelligent digital card game platform, and 20 digital stories, and 30 portfolios for classroom implementations that will be prepared by our teachers. And the training timeline, yes, it was initiated in September and the, it was created by the partners and the timeline uh, defined by the partners. And our training modules will be finished uh, end of February. And we have 10 modules. Uh, first, after the critical analysis of curriculum, we define 10 topics, 10 essential topics. 
And these are the food pyramid and the basic composition of foods, role of nutrients in the human body and function, biologically active compounds, the risk of chemical substances in food consumption, chemical and biological risks, and uh, food hygiene, health logos, all of them are about uh, healthy food and food safety. These are the essential topics that should be taught to, te to understand and to learn about the food safety and the healthy education. And how we designed our project and also our training process. First, we uh, planned blended training, 60 hours. And first, we plan to start with the face-to-face -face sessions. Also, it will be supported with web-based training process because it's not easy to conduct all training 60 hours face-to-face. -face. But uh, we have the online platform. And in our uh, online platform, there are 10 training modules. And these 10 training modules will guide the teachers. All our educational materials, uh, online games, will be in training modules and also there will be platform for there are platform for teachers the feedback to give the feedback to get the feedback from their teachers from their colleagues and also from their moderators moderators or experts also we aim to support the collaboration in our forum part i hope they use it in all projects we create the forum but unfortunately the teachers they don't use it always we have to push them we have to give the topic to take to talk about it but uh, when they have the contact with the teachers you don't need to do it uh, in some of our projects we try to guide it and we try to push the teachers use the forum but they never use it if you give the topic. But if they need it, they start to contact with the others and they sh start to talk. And the last part is the evaluation. Evaluation has already started in the beginning of the project and we get the pretest uh, from the teachers. Then uh, face to, we, we got the paper copies. Also, before starting the training modules, we have also planned the online um, evaluation forms to get their idea because to understand their pre and post uh, competences maybe uh, to get to learn and what they have learned and what they um, need more to improve about this topic and portfolios will be uh, prepared by the teachers it will be started in the beginning of the training and during the classroom implementations they will fill in it and this portfolio includes the teachers bios experiences their good practices and also students outputs and here are the teachers okay the, the number of the teachers that we involved in our trainings and here are the numbers. Most of you are going to focus on the primary education because it is essential to teach in the primary and pre-primary states, we believe it. And here is our website that we created. It was created by Romania, informatic department. And this is our registered area, includes the training modules. And as you see, there are 10 modules. And this is one of the sample created by our um, Spanish partner, Educational Video Lab. They created digital video to create the logo. I hope it works. Oops. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is about the nutrition and food labeling, this video. And yes, uh, we have the subtitles and all these subtitles translated in partner's language. Also, it will be dubbed for pre-primary and primary school students because it's not easy for the students to understand them. And some of them are simplified according to the level of the learners. We have different three types of uh, educational materials for three types of learners. And digital stories also were created again for the different levels of learners. This is for, the, I think, the secondary school, health logos. And in these digital stories, there always we give the context. And the, on this topic, they, okay, the, we have the characters uh, for the secondary school, the younger ones. And uh, for the uh, primary school learners, the characters are smaller, young, uh, yes. Here are our stories. We have 
30 digital stories, in uh, all of them connected with the 10 topics, 10 es essential topics. Okay, I'm quickly skipping. Okay, what have we done till this time? We over 3,000 questionnaires we fill in and we have to design the main conclusions and also training modules, 10 training modules were designed and our educational materials were planned and uploaded to the platform and 300 teachers were enrolled in the training process now and uh, all over from uh, partner countries and the training modules and topics were matched with the curriculum of primary school, all countries did it. We have the topics, we have the educational materials, but all partners have option to change the content of their topics because in Turkey we don't have the, our labeling, food labeling logos are not uh, matched with the European ones because still we are using the different ones. So that's why we have to modify our education mater m materials according to the context, our local context. And integration of the best practice within the educational process in the area of food and science and science mostly we tried it to do it and reinforcing the young people motivation these are our expectation in this project because for the secondary school and pre-secondary we are going to integrate our topics with the science education and we try to reach 2000 students as beneficiaries of virtual experiment and here are the turkeys the numbers and we included pre-primary primary science teachers from second pre-secondary, 30 science teachers from science, secondary schools, and also 10 ecology lessons. In Doha schools, we have the ecology lesson. And um, in primary and pre-secondary part, they are giving the um, lessons they are doing in a forest area mostly, and they, the children learn how to grow their plants and how to cook, how to prepare pickles, these kind of things they learn in ecology lessons. And in Turkey, first we presented our project and uh, we did the teachers, we tried to learn the needs of the teachers and we start a conversation and they told us how to teach the health education because we don't have the a special lesson to teach the health education but it should be they think that it should be integrated with the lessons and these teachings should be interdisciplinary and we piloted in the classrooms we did the lessons with our students and try to understand did they like this education and this is one of our video but I'm skipping okay and also we did some extracurricular learnings to, uh, events because this is our philosophy, nature-based learning, learning by doing and learning in a for, uh, garden and out, out of the class, live and learn model. And also we have special events, Harvest Fest, Eco Fest, Eco Kids Panel, Breakfast Time Ecology. These are the extracurricular activities, club activities for the students to raise their awareness for the health education. And they are really eager to include, to be involved in these activities. Okay, and the last things I would like to say, just we have finished, these are our even, event, events, yes, just we have finished the first year and the sustainability is the main issue in our project also. For those schools it's very easy to sustain the projects because we are the schools and we are hungry for the projects and the innovations and we have hundreds of students and the teachers implement on, in our classes but we are this is a European project so we have to create a wider impact and also we believe that the classroom implementations are very important and the data we are waiting for them and the teachers good practices yes we are creating the educational materials but these are the, ex okay, the ready ones, but we need the teachers' outputs and we need to know how to integrate, how to implement in their classes. And this is very crucial for the, also for the teachers' professional development. They will higher impact on the teachers. And here is the, also the dissemination. Uh, just we started our dissemination and this is the, I think, the good uh, opportunity for me to reach more people. Thank you for your patience.